got into volunteering is um, obviously I love the game of golf. I you know, live up in Michigan here and belong to the Country Club of Boyne. And uh, at the time, Frank Jones, who basically started the volunteer program many, many years ago, um, recruits all new Country Club of Boyne members. So immediately I was recruited by Frank Jones, although he passed the torch to Don Giffels. And Don Giffels was the volunteer chairman at the time uh, in 2010 when I first started. So I think I volunteered for just a couple years and then I was asked to become a coordinator for the scoring team, which I gladly accepted. And then when Don was ready to pass the torch, um, he recruited me to take over his spot as the volunteer um, captain. And I reluctantly accepted and uh, it's been uh, just uh, wonderful. I have a great, great team of coordinators that do all of the scheduling and they make my job very easy and they've been doing it for a long time as well. So, oh, probably about 10 for me. Yeah, uh, I think probably we, close to the same for me. We had an older gentleman that started mm, it, Frank Jones, yeah. and he roped us all into it and mm. we couldn't get out of it. <laughs> and he's what, 98 years he's old 98 now? So now, he's. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> So he's the guy that started really all mm. the volunteer effort uh, mm. for AJGA here. And for all the spotters, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But that, that's the thing about our spotters, too. A lot of them, uh, well, some of them are residents here on the property, but uh, they're from the area. And the retention for the spotters is phenomenal. You know, they, we've got people that have been volunteering as spotters for, for 10 years, you know, and just uh, they enjoy it. You know, it's just a, it's just a great event. Yeah, I had one experience yesterday. Uh, Phil Wurenberg was on 15, uh, and he uh, had a potty break, so I, I used his binoculars, you know, and his, you can really zero in on the ball when you, you know, the good set of binoculars. But uh, I think the second ball that they hit off a tee, I spotted it, and he was coming, it was coming closer, 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 closer. And oh, right <laughs> you, have to get, right. you have to get used to uh, the distance because it's deceptive. You don't know how close it is because it's so magnified, you know. But uh, it ended up going about three feet to my left, so <clears throat> it was close enough. <clears throat> I met a young lady and her father, and, you know, we kind of chatted a little. I chatted with her father. And um, just had a really fun experience doing the sign bearing. And now this young lady is an intern at the Country Club of Boyne, and her desire is to live in northern Michigan. So I, that was very heartwarming when I saw her back this, this spring. It's like, oh, what are you doing here? And, and she was an intern. So it, it was really fun because I met her so many years ago through golf and now she's back and she can golf. Just um, a way of giving back and supporting and nurturing the game of golf. And we just all love to see these kids out here and how great they are. And one of the things that most of the volunteers have reported on is just the level of respect and courtesy. Just these kids are, are great. So um, AJGA does a great job in training these, these kids how to be good human beings.